Worthy here for your astrological tip for January 4th. Now we do still have that moon in Leo, so you still engage in what you're passionate about and what you want to be creative about and what you're driven to do. Today it does make a square aspect to Mars, Jupiter, who are both in Scorpio. They're almost together. They're coming to a really tight conjunction. This one is so good. I mean, for you ladies who are due to have babies any day now, this is a phenomenal aspect to have. Helps us the Mars-Jupiter conjunction, move through things, push through and get through it easier. It's still effort, but we get through it wherever this is going on for you. I'll talk about it more when it, we get closer to the exact day. But with this moon making a hard angle, that's that square, to this Mars-Jupiter, anything that we feel, even though if you have, have children, if you're pushing too hard against something that's trying to happen because it's not its time, then we, it's going to slow us down and create more stress and more tension. So if you're feeling stress and tension in whatever it is you are doing, because everybody's an individual, as you all know, and we all have our own path and whatever it is we're doing, but if you're feeling too much tension, the most important thing for you to do is to stop pushing it's against it. Again, just like having a baby. You know, you have to breathe through some of it so the natural process can happen and then you give it effort. So, it's like that. A little effort today, a little back. Now, in the middle of the day, the moon makes a trine aspect to Mercury and Sag at 1.52 p.m. And then it makes that trine aspect to Uranus at 6.10 p.m. This is a grand trine in fire. So, this is where we have our movement. We're going to watch our words. If we're too passionate, we're going to put our foot in our mouth up to our knees. So, or if you need to be passionate about the way you're speaking, communicating, filling out applications, whatever it is you need to do, this is a good day to do it. Just remember, go with the flow. Find that path that feels the most fiery but the easiest one to take. That's the lesson for the day. Not pushing against too hard against what is pushing back, all right? All right, I'll leave you with that because there's a lot in today. Sorry, I'm over. I'm almost three minutes here. But blessings. Namaste.